Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another episode of AppQuest. I'm your host, Daniel. Today we're going to be taking a look at an app called Live Wallpapers for iOS. Now this is only for the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus because of 3D Touch. And uh, it basically allows you to take any picture that you have and set it as your wallpaper, but it's going to add a really cool live effect to it so that you can tap and hold and see a uh, really cool crystallization or pixel effect and you'll see in a second. It takes a few seconds to process this, but the each effect actually. So you tap and hold here and you can see a live preview of the effect. Or you can tap here in the bottom left hand corner and choose any of the other effects. So let's click on motion blur. That's a new one they added today. So it's good to know that they're going to keep adding effects over time since it is $2. You know, it's good to know that the app isn't just going to stay with a couple of effects that it has. Now, uh, Again, it does take a few seconds to process, and that's mainly because it is creating really high quality effect. Like it doesn't look like a pixelated effect, like you don't see all the pixels or anything from the effect. It's a very nice and smooth effect on each effect, which is really great to see. And you can see the effects are all very smooth. That's actually one that I have right now on my wallpaper. I have the hexagon one with this picture right here. And you can kind of get an idea there of uh, what it looks like. So now you can also take a picture of anything you want without having to choose from your library. So if you wanted to say, take a picture of all of that back there, we just go ahead and take a picture and use the photo, zoom and pinch if you wanted to, and then next. And again, you know, that few second wait here. And you of course get a really nice effect again. It would be nice to get kind of like an option to, uh, kind of uh, choose which effects you want. So uh, for example, if you want the, um, uh, you know, these colors to appear more than these colors, or, uh, you know, maybe shuffle the colors that it shows for the effect, that would be kind of nice in some of the hexagon ones and stuff, because uh, if you don't like the effect, so let's say if uh, this effect processed and I wanted to change maybe one and more blue than uh, this beige color, then it'd be nice to get that option in the future. but. For now, it creates pretty solid wallpapers, and I feel like almost every single time it chooses the colors that I want, so I'm fine with that, but it would be nice to see a couple of other features in the future. But yeah, guys, this is a pretty solid app, and I think pretty straightforward. I spoke more than I needed to about the app, but if uh, you guys are interested, there's always a link in the description that takes you directly to the App Store. And aside from that, I will catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye.